Good morning vlog. Today is February 19th, 2021. I'm outside cleaning my car because this is what we are waking up to this morning here in the US. Vacation me please. Vacation me ASAP. Like I know there's some states where people just, you know, they be waiting for a snowfall. But this is sometimes the effects of snow. Like this, this is not cool. I'll trade any one of y'all that never really see snow like that. Like, I'm tired of cleaning snow, like, and ice. We just cleaned snow and ice just this week, matter of fact. When did it snow? It snowed on Monday, I believe. Like, I'm tired of this. This is so ghetto. This is very ghetto. Earth is very ghetto. <sighs> New Jersey is very ghetto. No, I'm playing. Jersey not ghetto. But shit, it's ghetto because we don't have all year round sun and heat and warmth. Get me out of here. I don't belong amongst the people who are used to snow and love snow. Like y'all are crazy. Like who loves this? Give me summer all year long, all year round. Like I can do that. Hell, I'll even take spring. Cause you know summer's on the way. This right here, ghetto. Would not recommend at all. Ugh. So I'm about to go to Target. My hands are cold as I don't know what. I lost a nail last night. Still ain't get the rest of it off. I'm gonna stay here real quick. Finish cleaning up the car and then I'll see y'all. Welcome, welcome, we in Target. Honestly, I have no, well no, I do have a reason I'm here. I'm in here because I wanted to make eggs this morning um, and bacon. And excuse my hair guys, I'm actually gonna take it out, wash it today. I had a wig on last night and I took it off. So what you're seeing actually is glue, not dandruff. So I have to take it off. I had to take it off, sorry. And get it prepped so that I can wash it, blow dry it, you know, oil my hair up and everything the usual last year march i had a little short season was growing my hair i had cut my hair in september oh they still don't have my hat so i actually now i'm here for this i actually was waiting trying to see if they'll go on sale they still haven't went on sale yet so i guess i might as well just go ahead and get one now 5 10 and this is cute so I like this scarf. I think it's really cute. So I think I'm gonna get it. Um, and it's on clearance for $5.10. So I might just go ahead and just grab that right now. Yeah. All right, back to the story. So yeah, last year I had a short little season haircut. Uh, in, some, in December, I'm oh, sorry, in September of last year, I had the bright ass idea that my hair needed to be cut. So I did just that, I cut my hair. And after I cut it, I was like, shit, I shouldn't have cut it. So I basically tried to just be more patient with my hair, with myself, and take my time and grow it out. So a year later, I actually have neck length hair right now. Um, however, in certain spots, it's all not the same length. So I'm just working on that, simply put. Just kind of looking around to see what they got because you know spring is around the corner y'all i need one of these i don't know how many of y'all might need one but i really need it how much is this thing forty dollars in target hmm so i really want as well a nice dress like this this is like a satiny material that i can pair up with like a t-shirt or a nice spaghetti strap shirt oh the skirt is on clearance hold on wait 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 oh shit it's eleven dollars okay i gotta have that in the cart yeah in the cart i gotta have that i'm sorry totally not what i came here for but i gotta have it i can't leave that behind no maybe y'all probably would you might say charisma that's a waste of a purchase but I got an idea for it. Got an idea. Trust me on this one, y'all. So, on to what I actually came here for.
I'm finally out of Target and oh my skin look pretty good mm, okay but anyway I had I stopped to um Starbucks as well I got a what did I get I got a salted caramel cobra I think this is about to be my new drink the only thing that I think that I'll add next time to the salted um, caramel cold brew is caramel drizzle at the top. Uh, this is actually not bad. Like, this is actually not bad. You guys, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but my first recommendation to you guys, salted caramel cold brew. Add your um, caramel drizzle though. And for those of you that, cause it's not too sweet. Um, I really don't really care to have my drink. Let me put y'all down for a second. I don't really care to have my drink too sweet. I hate when y'all have to see this damn, this right here in the car, but whatever. If you really girly like me, then you understand. Like I have trinkets <laughs> just sitting up there, but they don't make a lot of noise or anything. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I don't like to have drinks too, too sweet from Starbucks because you know they can get really, really sweet. So I basically just have this right here, the salted caramel foam at the top is kind of sweet. So that way when you get what's at the bottom and they kind of, you know, collide and mesh in your mouth, it's sweet. Y'all get it? I hope so. But yeah, so anyway, we're about to drive home. I'm not really doing much today because it is really nasty out here. We have freezing rain here in Jersey. It's freezing rain. The roads are icy. The car was icy. Y'all saw what I had to do. Too much going on. So what I'm about to do is go home, clean the hell up because I have a paper due this weekend. Take some Instagram. No, I'm sorry. Not in, well, yeah, Instagram pictures, which also is going to come with me filming a video today of some clothing items that I purchased from Fashion Nova uh, that I did I haven't gotten a chance to wear them just yet, but I wanna put some outfits and stuff together so that way you guys can see. And yeah, that's the, oh, and to cook, and to cook today. Today is Friday in my house, Seafood Fridays. So I don't know how many of y'all do Seafood Fridays. The only thing that I want to do that I, I probably should just go to the store now and go do it crab legs i think i should go pick up some crab legs you can't have a seafood friday with no crab legs like what that's unheard of so i think i might want to go grab some crab legs real quick um yeah i think i might want to but let's see what the budget of them crab legs is because y'all know like crab legs they're not cheap you got to catch them on sale and if you don't catch them on sale, you can pay a pretty nice price for some crab legs. And I'm really not trying to spend an arm and a leg because probably the only person that wants these crab legs is me. So today is in my household, we doing flounder, shrimp. My daughter does not eat shrimp, so more for me. Um, <laughs> and then crab legs of which she does eat. And I can only eat one claw she can definitely finish off like two. She's not really a big fish person, so crab legs really would go to her. Yeah, she would be the crab eater at this point. But let's see, cause this weather is really nasty. This weather is not giving nothing. Like this weather is giving Antarctica. Well, I'ma see y'all back at the house or I'm gonna wind up seeing you guys at Acme to go grab some crab legs. Okay, so Acme One, I'm in the supermarket, about to go and see what they got when it comes to the crab legs. I'm sorry, I just couldn't, I can't resist. And you can't have a seafood boil with no crab legs. So I really hope that they got at least a decent price on some crab legs because I think I'm buying them and they not on sale. And that's about the only time that I really eat crab legs is when they on sale. So I'm really hoping that I can find some that's on sale. So let's see what they got. Hopefully these prices are not too bad. I'm not getting much. And I, I made the fatal mistake of calling my daughter to ask her. And of course, this little girl is like, yes, crab legs, crab legs. So uh, crab legs. 
so they got some right here. Mm -mm. What y'all think? $27.99. But they don't look like nothing. They're not giving nothing. So this bag right here, 31. This one here, 24, but it's not giving nothing. That look like the bottom of the sea. You know, the crabs that didn't win the fight. I'm not trying to take the crabs that didn't win the fight. We need some thoroughbreds, like. <laughs> no, see? This is the crabs that ain't win the fight. They weren't even in the fight. Nah, they were the spectators that got hurt on the side. I, I can't, no. Let's see what they, let's see what, they, see? Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Good morning, good morning. I hope you guys had a great sleep. It is Sunday. I actually did not pick up my camera in, I think just one day. Um, I was supposed to finish off the video of you, um, of us, you know, kind of eating and relaxing and stuff like that on Friday. So I didn't pick up the camera yesterday, but here today on Sunday, Sunday's gonna be a pretty light day. I wanted to <clears throat> film a video yesterday. I kind of got a little lazy, so I did not get a chance to do that. I actually have a paper to do for school. I'm gonna bust that out real quick. It's a five page paper. I can get done with that in no time. And then I can get to my video. So I probably will pull a little bit of an all nighter tonight. Some of you probably might be wondering, Kirsten, what the hell is this old glittery pink thing up on your head? So this is, the bonnet that I got from the beauty supply store and I'll, the package is somewhere around here. I had to have, I did my hair in a ponytail last night. No, I did not record it because it was just too much to record. But anyway, I wanted to give myself a little bit of time away from a wig. Uh, so yeah, I bought, I have this and let me show you guys the ponytail. So I had to put this on my head just to make sure that I laid things down, but now I got a little bit of a dent, but we can take it off. Some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not know, I am fully natural. Um, and I'm natural, not on purpose at all, totally accidental, but nonetheless, I'm natural. So I just wanted a quick little ponytail hairstyle and it got messed up a little bit, but it's cool. A quick little ponytail hairstyle just to last me for a little bit. This is my invisible ponytail because I don't know if you guys can see it. it and of course, it, it starts to unravel a little bit there. But we'll fix it today. <clears throat> but yeah, you might be able to see it this way. Yeah. But um, what was I saying? <sighs> yeah. So. I just wanted a quick little hairstyle to kind of get me through to give my hair a small little break but we'll be back to the wigs uh, my sister is going to braid my hair down whatever day this week that she decides to come over here and braid it down so once she does that then I can go back to my wigs but for the time being we ponytailing it out a little bit so like I said I'm fully natural I straightened my hair last night and then you know added the little finishing touches and whatnot to it to be able to get it to slick down because my hair don't be wanting to cooperate so guys um I have a slight change of plans I'm actually about to head out right now I need to go to Walmart so that's what we're about to do really quick and I think Ross uh and then I also have an apartment view in today I have an apartment viewing today, so I am going to take you guys with me so that way we can go see an apartment. Um, I have to move. I have to move basically by, 
October. So I'm kind of getting a little bit of an early start on apartment hunting. So I figure since I have to go do that today, might as well take you guys. So that way you guys can see a little bit of what I'm looking at. If you guys live in South Jersey like me, then, you know, maybe, or hell, if you're just looking for some sort of a nice apartment and stuff like that to be your next dwelling, maybe this might be something that you might be interested in. I just want to take you guys with me. So that's the plan now today. So see you in Walmart. I have been looking for the Quest cookies. I can't find the Quest cookies in here. I've been trying to kind of wean my way into not buying a lot of junk. Uh, so I'm sure as many of you guys already know, I'm already set to have my revision surgery in June. Uh, if my, if, like I said, my insurance only requires 90 days, but it's going to be pushed back to June because I am severely anemic. So I'm trying to get myself back on a healthy, um, you know, meal plan, trying to get myself back on a healthy meal plan. So that way it makes it a little bit easier when it's time to have surgery. But I've been lately, you know, like wanting a little bit of sweets, a little bit of snacking and stuff like that, that has been going on, but I'm trying to find some Quest chocolate chip cookies. And all they have here in my Walmart is the snack bars. I don't want that. I don't like them. Like when it comes to the snack bars, I think power crunch, and what's the other brand that I used to eat? Power Crunch and there's another one that tastes like a freaking Snickers without the peanuts in it. Uh, they have their brands and those are the only two that I eat or either I eat the one bars. I still drink Premier Protein in the morning for a um, meal replacement. So I don't, I, some mornings I don't eat breakfast, some mornings I do, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but this is all they have. And I really, Atkins, I don't do Atkins. This is, they have, when it comes to the, see these are protein bars, I don't want that. And then they have this Finiflex stuff. I don't even know what the hell this is. I'm gonna assume these are protein bars too. And then these are the ones that I used to get all the time. When I had, you know, when I was like serious on my, health kick. I just don't want these right now. And their French vanilla cream, uh, peanut butter was okay. I don't really want that though. All right, what makes this diff? Oh, it has more protein in it than the normal, which is right here, which has 14. And the peanut butter has 13 grams of protein. I don't really want that. So I guess I'm not gonna get no quest anything. Because even down here, yeah, this is all that they have. I don't want that. <sighs> all right. So there goes that when it comes to the Quest stuff. I think I'm going to have to go to Target. Target might have it. Might have to go on over there. And then I like to do this when I go inside my Walmart. Visit the clearance section and see what they have. I'm one of those people who likes to grab like a million and one deodorant. Oh, they got deodorant wipes. And they want to see them. And yeah, I'm going to get them. Oh, aluminum free secret deodorant. 480. Listen, y'all, check your local Walmarts. They have a lot of different stuff that I'm sure that you guys can use, especially in the clearance aisle. I don't use ivory deodorant, but I'm sure somebody out there does. And look how much they're going for right now. This used to be, this brand actually used to be one of my favorite, um, was it contouring? Especially when I didn't, you know, want to pay like full price for like the regular price stuff. I would always get uh, this particular brand's Black Radiance, perfect. And I think these are like shimmers though, but listen, check your local Walmarts. You never know what you're gonna get. This is actually not a bad price for this. You don't ever see this. And hold on, let me see if I can scratch and sniff y'all. I'm gonna set y'all up right here. Uh, let me set y'all up here. Let me get my card out the way. Oh, this just stink. No. Uh-uh. 
this would be something I guess that a man would have in his house. Cause this really, mm -mm. nah, this smell like some log cabin something. So I guess that would be why it's on sale for five, yeah, five dollars. Cause I can't do that. Sorry, that's a loss for me. But hey, you never know what your Walmart has. So check out your Walmart.